First up on your story, well, Indonesia follows the Sharia law where you are punished duly for moral transgressions. Women and men face flogging for a host of morality crimes, including drinking alcohol, gambling, adultery, even premarital sex. Indonesia's Aceh province has now introduced its very first female flogging unit to publicly whip female offenders. Take a look. A masked woman swiftly approaches the target, shuffles into position and then unleashes a flurry of flashes. Meet the newest member of Indonesia's first female flogging squad. As she whips the offender, an unmarried woman caught in a hotel room with a man. The female flogging squad's fresh recruit needed some coaxing to punish the offender. But in Indonesia, when you're told it's God's order, you can't really say no. It's not easy psychologically. Sometimes they would think that they are about to whip people while they themselves are not clean. But regardless, because this is a duty, they have to be ready. So we tell the appointed whipper that this is God's order. However, convincing women to participate has been a hard task. Taking years to assemble the first female squad. Eight women, all Sharia officers, agreed to be floggers and were trained in the appropriate technique and advised how to limit injury. As greater internet access and globalization clashes with religious norms, more and more women are being charged for morality crimes such as public affection or premarital sex. But most of Aceh's women are happy to abide. Of course, I agree, because it is based on Sharia law. Even in real Islam, those who steal should get their hands chopped off. But it hasn't been implemented yet. It's airy to imagine that. But I agree with that. It's better, because that is based on the Sharia law. Despite Indonesia's president calling for the public floggings to stop, he has little say over what happens in Nache, a deeply conservative region on Sumatra Island. Unlike the rest of the nation, Aceh follows Sharia law as part of a 2005 autonomy deal with the central government in Jakarta. In Aceh, public whipping remains a common punishment for a range of charges, including gambling, adultery, drinking alcohol, and having gay or premarital sex. But the job has always been done by men until now. For women arrested for the most minor violation, victimization, including sexual harassment, and rape during arrest is their usual fate. And for Aceh, a region that made news over a fatwa against PUBG, an online game, and for opposing the National Women's Football League, the move to introduce female floggers is hardly surprising. Bureau report, we on World is One.